You yeah. twisted the meaning of the words by saying that God yeah, loves yeah, everyone. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah, actually by yourself. Wait, okay, let me show you scriptures where God. Let me finish. God, wait. wait. You, you, you said okay, my from point all point those who accept Jesus, he could take he take died for them, right? So there's a condition. There's a condition. Only if you accept Jesus, I don't work with the Bible. I don't work with the Bible. Only work with the Bible. I'm not quoting the Bible. I'm not quoting the Bible. I'm quoting the Bible. Forget about you quoting. Oh, now you don't want to. I'm quoting the Bible. You have just a camera about the Quran, and I'm not quoting the Bible. You see. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to. You know what he did? Let's when go to the Bible. He asked you a loaded question. My, to expect a loaded answer. My favorite. My favorite Muslim blasphemer. Right here. JC, make sure you don't cancel this. Blasphemer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, did you just, did you just call me a blasphemer? Yeah. Why? Because you, because you don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins and rose on the third day. Okay, so every He's the Son of God. So you're saying every Christian, listen, every Christian, 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 are you saying everyone who does not believe in Jesus to be God is a blasphemer? Do you believe? Answer the question. I ask you first. Answer you see, that's the problem. They don't answer. Okay, so they don't answer. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna record. Someone asked me to quote some scriptures. This guy behind you asked me to quote what I am saying. Are you gonna let me speak after? I will quote scriptures. Are you gonna let me speak? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna speak after. Yeah, speak after. Okay, good. Go on. Okay. So let's look at some scriptures. Jesse, we look at quiet man. So so you're acting like a teenager. Just calm down. Okay. So so far. We've established no way in the Quran. Okay. What was your question? Let's start with that. No, no, no. What was your question? The question was, can you show us anywhere in the Quran yes. where Allah don't, yes. don't invade my personal space? The unbeliever loves You've the Christian unconditionally. Yeah. The figure unconditionally. No, it's very important. No, love is important. No, 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 love is one. Listen, we, it's not There's only one type of love. Really? Yes. And it's unconditional. You're the love and love is unconditional. Yes. Love is unconditional. Yes. Love is never conditional. Love is unconditional. But it's love is unconditional. Love is unconditional. The love of God. The love of God is unconditional. So if I'm speaking about Allah, are you going to show me that word? Okay. Unconditional love. Show me that word. Show me. Show me. Show me. You made a claim that God loves everyone unconditionally. I just quoted the word. I just quoted the word. Okay. I just quoted the word. Okay. 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 Right. So what I'm gonna do? Is, I know I'm from several. I'm gonna read the word unconditional. Why not? You because because it came. Because I just, uh, you know, forget. I'm gonna read the scriptures. Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Bro, 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 I'm gonna read for the word unconditional. I don't care if you're looking for it. Of course I am. I don't care about you. I care about what you're going to read. Romans 8:37, 39. Yes. I'm gonna read the scriptures. Don't disturb me. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life. No angels, no rulers, no things present, no things to come, no powers, no heights, no depths, no anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, God. in Christ Jesus our Lord. And we've got another scripture. John 3 16. I don't care what you think. Of course you don't. Because they're getting okay. Okay. And that's how it's so, like, Because so they're getting exposed. God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him condition. I'm reading scripture for you. Yeah, go on. Would not perish but have eternal life. Okay, exactly. Now, Romans exactly. 5 8. Condition. Why do you have to do it? Only you're afraid you debate me. Should we try to do it? You're not talking. You're 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 talking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. No, I am. Listen, I'm not going to do this. I don't know. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared? After this, why are you talking about the Trinity? Why are you scared? 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 Why are you scared?
sorry. I'm not provoked by your games. It's, it's stumbling, I'm stumbling. No, no. Are you in my game? Are you in my game? Are you in my game? Are you Why is it not Trinity? Exactly. You guys can't. You guys can't. You guys can't. You guys You know JC got this one three times. I don't have it. Three times. It's all your profit. Three times. I don't want to get this one. 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 Every time I bring them with Trinity, you run away. Good one. You said you made the claim. Yes, you said something. So the imam don't want to debate. Listen, you you made the claim. You made the claim. Yeah, you made the claim. You said in the Bible there is a verse which shows that is unconditional love. Exactly. And it says whoever believes in it, which means there's a condition. So what did you like? The first thing. Okay. So what did you? Either you like. Did you like? Tell him that. Or or the Bible is not one of the things. Two one thing first off. Yes. I can debate all three of you one, but if you want to keep jumping in, you can keep jumping in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to answer. Victim, okay? I can talk to you one on one. Okay, see? I said I can him, but he wanted me to be like, you know that he's in my house. Let's have a debate. 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 Will you shout? Will you shout? Will you be quiet? You want me to give it to me? No, I'm saying, will you be quiet? Will you be quiet? Just a minute. She's minute. I'm asking you. I'm going to give you the right thing. Now it's going to be debate. One and a half minutes for you, one and a half minutes for you. Yeah. No. 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 That's why you I'll just talk to you. Yeah? Otherwise, I'll talk to you. If you want to talk to me, I don't mind. Why are you talking to me? I'm saying, why are you talking to me? Is there any issue? No, no, no. I'm saying, 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 why? Yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. I'm not trying to be funny, but let me just respect things here. So why you're sinners, Christ died for you. Yeah. Even you're a sinner. So that's called unconditional. Now, if, if you don't agree, it's unconditional. Can you show me? Okay. You show me how that's show unconditional. Me okay. in the Quran. Show me similar. That's a good question. Show me where that's in the Quran. Okay. Now, I said to you in the beginning, in the Quran, God didn't mention that he loves the disbeliever. Oh. Oh. I said to you. No, 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 hold on. I said to you, that makes sense because even in what you said, for example, you said, you said, the one when you said, when God sent Jesus, as you said, yeah? When you claimed, yeah? When he sent his begotten son, what you claimed? No, I wasn't claiming that. Hold on, hold on. In the Bible, in the Bible. And you said, you said this, yeah? I didn't finish my, my speech, yeah? Now, you said firstly, God sent Jesus, yeah? Firstly. And as well, you mentioned as well, you quote in the Bible that those ones, those ones, God mentioned the condition according to your scripture that if if the one believe believed in him, they will never face they they, they will be not for example you know burn in the hellfire, isn't it? Yeah. You ask me or are you are you talking? Question, when the, you finish, I respond. The question is to you: If I didn't believe in this concept, what will happen to me in the hereafter? Okay. Can I respond to you? Yes. Okay. Right. You just said what will happen to you in the hereafter. Yeah, if I didn't believe in this okay, concept, okay. yeah. So the first thing you said is I quoted the scripture from John 3:16, yeah. where it says, uh, "For God so loved the world that um, He gave His only begotten Son, <coughs> that whoever believes in Him yeah. will not perish, but will have everlasting life." So you're so, emphasizing, so you're yeah. you're focused on the word belief, okay? Yeah. Right. So let me do that, okay? Right. So the word belief is yes, you do have to believe in Jesus Christ, that He one that is Lord, that is God. And that he died and rose again for your sin. Okay. okay. Right. However, okay, that doesn't um, take away God's love. God still loves you regardless of whether he punishes you. Now let me give you an example. So oh, hold on, sir. Let me give you an example. You have children. Yeah. A children, a child, shall I say, um, misbehaves themselves. Perhaps they don't, you know, you tell them to clean up the house, wash the dishes, they don't do it. Right? Now, um, you, it's likely that you may punish them for that, right? Yes. Is that correct, yeah? Now, would you say that you don't love your child because you punished that child? That's right. No, 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 no I'm asking you a question. Do you still love your child even though you, pun even though you punish them? Yeah. 
Depends. Still love them, right? Depends. So, depends. Depends. Right. Right. depends on the mistake. Right. So, right. Depends on the mistake. Right. 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 Depends on the okay. mistake. Okay. 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 God, that's why I use that scripture. He demonstrated love towards sinners. Yeah? Because regardless, okay, of what you've done, he still loves you. Yes. He, yes, the thing the, the, what you have to understand what hell is. No, 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 I'm finished. What hell is? Hell is you got a mic now, yeah? Music you feel empowered when you got a mic. But but it's for it's for Okay. So the, 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 you have to understand the point is what hell really is. What hell essentially or effectively is. But are you listening to me or are you listening to me? Sorry, 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 sorry. No, I'm not listening. I'm listening. Your mum's helping to shake. Why are you saying secure, man? Calm down. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Alright, so, shake. Shake. So, um, the point is this, is that um, you can still love someone even though you punch them. That doesn't negate the fact that you don't love the person. That's why I brought it home. No, 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 I haven't finished. Now, hell, the concept hell. Okay, it's simply in Isaiah chapter uh, 59, I believe it is. Yeah? The concept of hell is separation from God. That's why the Bible says your transgression has separated you from God. So, hell is a separation from God. So, you choose, you choose whether you go to God. Hold on, let me finish. We have a discussion, we have a discussion, but I'm going to express my belief. I'm going to express my belief. Yeah? So, so, um, the expression of hell in the Bible is that if you choose, if you choose to go, um, if you cho don't choose God, <coughs> then you go to hell. If you choose God, then He will accept you. Okay, so, so it's a choice that you make. Okay, however, it doesn't whether you choose Him or you don't choose Him, God will still love you. Fine. Yeah, fine. that's Same. the point. Finish, fine. Finito. Next. Do you understand that? I understand. Uh, five minutes. You now, talk. Yeah? Now, five minutes. now listen. No, I will, I will just uh, yeah, shorten that. Now, now listen. You said that God said. Whoever believed, yeah, whoever yeah. believed yeah. shall not perish in hell. Yeah. So, yes. which means the one, the one who didn't believe, God will perish him in the hellfire. Yes? Yes. So what can you said, if when he's perishing me in the hellfire according to you, yeah. he loves me. Yes. Inside hell. He loves While me. While I'm perished. What he kind of me. love? Yes. What yes. kind of love? Is How many times I say? Yes. Love this. Listen, listen, listen to this. Okay. Listen to this. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, well, that's something which is that, yeah, again. You don't understand no, no, but no, that's what you do. Right, that's why we believe in the Holy Spirit. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. I didn't stop you. Exactly. What you said is. Are you talking and stop it? No, oh, no. The Holy Spirit. These right. things, this is nonsense. Yeah, what you said. Okay, what you said is nonsense. It has no relevance to it. Because if someone, if God is going to punish me, there is no love, there is no mercy. If there is punishment, perish in the hellfire. Yeah? It is not love. This, this, uh, that's what it's justice. If, if he says, if it's justice, then there is no mercy. They are applying this rule, it's and that's why life. it is not unconditional according to what you said. It's something nonsense what you said. Now, going back to the scripture, you said in the Quran. Let's go back to the Quran now. The Quran, Allah said in the Quran, "Qul in kuntum Allah, Allah." If you truly love Allah, yeah, you don't need to say. If you truly love Allah. Then follow me, Allah will love you. So Allah said to us very clearly, Allah love yes, yeah, yeah, condition is exactly condition. as in the Bible. It's a condition. No. It's condition. No. But that concept which you have, you have double standard. In the Bible, you use a standard, and in the Quran you don't you don't use the same standard. You don't use the same standard. Okay. Okay. For us the salvation only will be taken by the people who God loves. That's how is it? As simple as that. So if God if, those, finish, ones, so if those ones yeah. believed in God, it's only been one yeah. minute. Calm down. If those, if, if, <laughs> if someone <laughs> believed in God, then they can again the salvation, they can again the love of God. The one who didn't believe in God, they will never have a salvation. And according to you, what's the salvation? Is it not expression of the God that He He put them in the in, uh, in heaven? That's the salvation according to you. That's what it means of salvation. And the punishment and being perished in the hellfire, it is not expression of love. It's an express of God punishment. Punishment doesn't have mercy, doesn't have love. So, so that's why. Have you finished? Have you finished? Have you finished? Have you, finished? you got three no. more minutes. Calm down. Well, Julie, you can keep talking. Three more minutes. Right, right. Yeah. For forever, if you want. Game so. of but, but I'm saying to you, if you want so. to engage, I can respond to that. If you want to respond to that, I'm just letting you talk. I don't want to cut you. Okay. Three more minutes. So now, so now, when you said, when you said the Bible has unconditional love. This is nonsense. It has not relevant to the scripture, firstly. You repeat yourself why, then. You repeat so yourself. I will leave this with you. Now okay, can I, can I respond to you? Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, you see the problem you have as a Muslim, yeah? 
you have a major problem. This is a really, one of the reasons why I think Islam is a man-made religion. Because yes. clearly, okay, one, first of all, you don't, you don't know what love is. You don't understand what love is, okay? Oh, you right? Yes, because the Bible defines... The Bible, no, I'm telling you the truth. No, you, you, you don't think that I believe Islam is a man-made religion? Of course I do. So, it's so, a man-made religion. Continue, continue, continue. Right. So, the reason why I believe it's a man-made religion is because... Leave one, this. Let's talk about the... I'm talking about... Let's talk about the topic. Did I cut you? Did I cut you when I was talking? Did I cut you? Did I cut you? Did I cut you? Did I cut you? No, I'm not. I'm not. But you don't want me to answer how I want to answer. You want me to answer with the words you put in my mouth. I'm going to answer how I want to answer. Even if I start there, I'm going to come to what I'm saying. So the reason why is because this is a false religion. It's a man-made concept, man-made religion. It's because you have a God, okay, who claims to be just, okay? He's perfectly just and he will give um, you perfect justice, okay? However, okay, if somebody comes to him and asks for forgiveness, okay, then he'll just let, he'll let them go. He'll, 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 um, he'll forgive them. That's what you claim is justice. Now, let's look at what justice is. Yeah. Would you agree with me? I don't need to, the long words, yes or no. Would you agree with me that justice is getting what you deserve? Yes. Right. So, let's, 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 let's do a little analogy. Somebody goes to court, yeah? He's murdered someone, or he, he, he's murdered 20 people. He's an ISIS bomber, he's murdered 20 people, right? Or maybe he's a Christian. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Yeah, we're taking care. Right, right, right. It makes them happy, it makes them happy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 20, okay, he's murdered 20, he's murdered, he's murdered 20 people, right? Yeah, yeah. He goes to the, uh, he never gets caught for maybe, say, 10, 15, 20 years, okay? 20 years later, he gets caught. They find him guilty, he stands before the judge. Yeah. And the judge says to him, you've murdered 20 people. But he responds by saying, well, you know what? Since then, I'm a good person. I'm a family man. You know, I help old ladies across the street. I give to charity. I fast every every year. And he talks about all these good, all these. So you listen. He does all these good deeds, and he says, you know, I'm a good person now. Yeah. Would the judge then say, "Whoa, well, you, you're a great guy now. Okay, I'm gonna forgive you. You just walk straight off." Would the judge do that? And then, uh, this one would, would the judge I, I, do that? I told him. Would the judge? See, so you're not listening. The, the, the guy he interrupted. No, 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 come on. Come on. You, are you not talking to me? I'm good person. So, right. So, if the person says that I've said I've done all these good deeds, I'm really sorry for what I did in the past, murdering those 20 people, yeah. okay? Will you not forgive me and let me go? Would the judge, who's, if he's worth his salt, will he let that person go? Depends which judge. <laughs> Give me one judge of the land. This is what we're going to have to resort to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. You're saying that a judge, even though they've murdered 20 people, now give me an example of a judge that's done that in England. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did that. Muhammad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He left people who killed people and then they came to him and told him, we regret. We regret. You have no respect. Listen. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. I think you're going to have a bunch Listen, I have. I'm logic. I'm telling you. You should tell okay. me that Show me an example Our Prophet Muhammad, yeah. okay. Muhammad Peace be upon okay. him okay. Forgive okay. a person Who killed his uncle exactly. And came to him And Give told him example, I man. killed your uncle And he said He was not just That's the point He was he not just like he, he was not just You said to you me, the judge. to me is there any judge will do that? Yes. No, or prophet no, did that. No, no. Continue. Sheikh, listen. Yeah. I said to you, is so justice. Simple, yeah? I showed you I, I said yeah. to you is justice. Uh, what is the meaning of justice? Define justice. Does justice mean getting what you deserve? You said yes. Yes. Okay? Right. So if Mohammed allows somebody who's murdered someone, his uncle, whatever you call, yeah. call it, to go free, he's not getting what he deserves. No. So my, so no, listen, no, 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 listen no, wait, no, hold on, 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 so, you're so, you're so, five minutes. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. no, no, I'm, I'm just saying, okay, so the point I'm making to you is that justice is only, it's absolute, it's objective, okay? Justice is justice. You can't. There's no um. Too much. Too much. Is that, that Allah is deficient, okay. in, his he deficient the in his love? He's deficient in his justice, okay. Okay. and he's not God. Right. 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 Now, 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 now is my turn. Now is my turn. Now, yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, he actually, he actually is different. Christian is different. Muhammad, I'm your question. All right. About. The wrath of God and the hatred. You didn't. You didn't. Listen, 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 listen. Gordon. You should be a reasonable person. We were, we, were talking, we were talking about, firstly, about the love of God, yeah? And then you went to another thing. You took the hell! You didn't have to do it. 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 He's not just if he doesn't listen to him. No, no, hold on, hold on. I will tell you something. I will tell you something. You give me an example which is not relevant. The example someone 
a murderer killed someone and then he regret. He came and he said, I regret. I am wrong. What I have done is wrong. Yeah? So this is something. There's something else. So God, we cannot compare if a human being like Muhammad, peace be upon him, when a person came, he said, I killed your uncle. And he said to me, describe how did he do that? And he was a Bessinian, used to be a Bessinian slave. And he went and he killed his uncle. Yeah? The Habashi. Yeah? Wahshi. You're not with me. You're not with me. You're not with me. Yeah? So he came to him. He said to him, he said to him, I forgive you. Because you regret. You became a Muslim. You regret. That's it, what I need from you. That's it. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Now, going back. Now here, can you please read, read this loudly? Can you read it? No, no, read it loudly. So I'm asking you. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Yeah. Okay, what is this? What, 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 what scripture is this, by the way? It's written there. Psalms 5. Okay, Psalms. Okay. So it's poetry, right? Yeah, it is. Let me tell you poetry. Okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, what, 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 what is this poetry? What is it? What is it? What is it? Baba, from God? Read it now. Is it from God? Read, 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 read it, okay. please. Right. So, loud, loud. So, poetry, okay, has, um, so for example, it's. Don't give us your space. No, 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 I'm just going to. I don't want to do a prediction. Just read it. Can I read it and I respond to it? No, I will. I will. Can I read it? I will respond to it. Okay, I'll read it. I will respond to it. Okay, I'll read it. You don't want to read it. Okay, so basically, this is from Psalms 5, verse 4. Okay, so read it. Okay, so basically, this is from Psalms chapter 5, verse 4 to 6. This is basically the question if God loves the evildoers. For you are not God who delights in wickedness. Yes. Evil may not dwell with you. Yes. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. The what? Okay. The boastful. Yeah. You hate all listen, evildoers. Listen, listen. Are you listening? Listen. You, you hate all evildoers. Not love. Hate. You hate. This is God speaking according to the Bible. It says here. You hate all. For you are not God who delights in wickedness. Evil may not dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. Okay. That's the Bible. Can I you destroy. He hasn't finished yet. You destroy those who speak lies. You destroy those who we speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. Psalm 21. So what I'm saying is, the Lord is going to be abhorred. Is he winning us now? No, because he's not winning. 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 What they clearly trying to quote, what they trying to do, they're trying to quote a verse, they're trying to quote a verse in the Psalms. Now we know that Psalms um, is full of all types of poetry. For example, it used hyperbole, it used um, different types of words. For example, when he speaks about God, it says God breathed or, or um, God has wings or, you know, it speaks about various things and it's used, just using um, ways of trying to, a uh, human mind, trying to understand the concept of God. Now what these guys, fail to understand is that hate is not the opposite of love to not love is the opposite of love okay right and so in the Quran all over and over again, like a drumbeat it says over and over again that God does not love the transgressor God does not love the woman God does not love the sinner God it says that the Christian is the worst creation so over and over again that's what the command does not love not hate so, we talk, so you, you, um, what the um, Muslims have to understand as well um, is that um, you can hate and love someone at the same time. For example, you might love, you might, you might love your children, but you might hate what they're doing. If a, if, a, if a child is doing some type of evil, you may hate them, but you love them. You may hate, so you may hate the deed that they're doing, the, the evil they're doing. If they're murdering, they're raping, you hate that work, but you love them. And that's God. God loves you, regardless of you know of who you are. I'm saying, but He calls you to come back to Him in repentance. He will forgive you if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Died and rose again for your sin. God bless you.